Hi, and welcome to this introductory course on KDB Insights Enterprise. I'm Michaela, and I'll be your instructor for the duration of this course. Now, the aim of this course is to provide you with an overview of KDB Insights Enterprise, enabling you to get up and running quickly with data ingestion, querying, and creating visualizations through the UI. You're also going to gain an understanding of the product's key features and best practices for building applications on the platform. Now we've created this for all levels. So whether you're an experienced data professional or new, don't worry, we're going to have it at a level that will suit you. And you're also going to use our free trial to follow along with me. So you don't need to install anything on your side. So let's take a look at what you can expect in this course. So we're going to begin with a quick start guide to get you up and running with your first application on the platform quickly. You'll be using the free trials while walk you through how to launch that. And you're going to be able to follow along with me hands on ingesting and querying data into your own instance. Then we'll delve into database design best practices, ensuring your data is organized efficiently and has been set up for optimal performance. We'll then explore pipelines, learning how to use them, all the features they offer in more detail and how to troubleshoot them when something goes wrong. We'll also look at all the options for querying data and then we'll move on to views so you can learn how to build your own views and dashboards and turning your data into actionable insights. We'll cover machine learning and you can learn how to integrate advanced analytics and predictive capabilities into your own KDB Insights enterprise environment. Finally, we'll take a look at how to extract and back up your work so you can bring it with you from the free trial to another instance of Insights Enterprise. Throughout the course, we have quizzes provided to help reinforce your learning. So don't forget to do these so that you'll get your certificate upon completion. So let's get started.